Dana Osgood has our forecast. You were joking with us at four that it felt for a while like we may never get rid of the humidity. I know. So today was very welcomed. Exactly. It kind of felt like we were stuck in the same pattern over yeah. and over again, but we're actually going to flip the pattern a few times this oh, week, okay. so things are getting interesting. Here's a look at our high temperatures today, though. So even though the humidity it was significantly lower in this new air mass, it still feels like summer out there. These are our high temperatures today. We got to 81 in Portland, 83 in Augusta, 83 also in Bangor. But the big ticket item here is how low our dew points are. It feels so much more refreshing out there with dew points only in the low to mid 50s. We do have a couple in the 60s along the immediate coastline, but still significantly more comfortable than we've seen the past two weeks where most of this map was populated by upper 60s and lower 70s. Now we have this large area of high pressure over us, so that's why we haven't talked about any precipitation today, and we saw plenty of sunshine. We had a lot of cumulus clouds pop up late in the afternoon, but that's just a sign of a very nice day out there. So because this area of high pressure is going to stick around for a little while, tomorrow is going to look very similar to today in terms of our hour by hour forecast. So late tonight, temperatures will drop down into the upper 50s to lower 60s because we don't have a lot of cloud cover and we have a drier air mass. We'll start out tomorrow morning with plenty of sunshine, though I think along the immediate coastline, we will start to see some higher clouds later in the day. I think a few of those could get into areas of inland Maine, but the closer you get to the coastline, the more overall cloud cover you're going to see, but still a nice day coming into the afternoon. And then things change a little bit. So this is Saturday at 8 p.m. We're looking at a very weak cold front coming in from the north, and it's going to move from north to south. So this is Saturday at 8 p.m. A couple of showers and storms possible up in the county and up in areas of northern Maine. And this front basically almost completely dies out by the time it gets to areas in central Maine. Could see a few isolated showers, but right now we're just looking at a little bit of extra cloud cover in this area around midday. We could, however, see a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms right along the immediate coastline as we get into Sunday afternoon. However, most of us are going to remain dry throughout the entirety of the weekend, and we start out Monday with, once again, plenty of sunshine. So I want to talk about the dew points one more time here. So tomorrow overall, I think it's going to feel kind of a comfortable or almost neutral kind of day out there. And then our dew points are going to drop steeply behind the front Saturday night into early Sunday morning. So it's going to happen slowly. So we can see that here. This is Sunday right at midnight. And then the dew points drop as the front moves from north to south into the upper 40s in some spots. This is Saturday, Sunday at noon. And that'll be much, much more comfortable as we get into Monday and the beginning of next week. Temps also closer to average, dropping down into the upper 70s to lower 80s. In terms of our marine forecast, seas 2 to 4 feet, water 64 degrees there. So here's a look at our seven day forecast. I do think most of us are going to be dry for the entirety of the weekend. Just might see a couple of showers move through late Saturday into early Sunday morning. So Brian, we have a good weekend coming up, but if your garden needs some water, we do have some more rain coming in for the second half of next week. Some chances for that, a change there as well. All mm -hmm. right, Dana, good news for the weekend. Thanks so much.